Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Soraya, and today I wanna to talk about longing for your twin flame, experiencing a deep loneliness and desire to be with your twin flame and feeling that feeling of, ugh, they're not here, I miss them, I wanna be with them, I feel separate from them is essentially the energy of it. I wanna talk about this because this is something that almost all of us experience on the twin flame journey at some point or another where we feel like I just want to be with my twin flame. I just want to connect with them. I just, I miss, you know, the, being them being around. I miss communicating with them. I miss holding their hand. I, I miss, you know, laughing with them and having coffee with them. And, you know, like I, I love, like for me, coffee in the morning, talking is like my favorite thing with my twin flame. Um, and you know, sometimes we'll have these memories, these experiences that we just, we just remember being with them, feeling close to them. And we just wish that we could have that. And we were experiencing some kind of illusion of separation, whether we're not talking with our twin flame or they're just not around or they're not committing or they're not choosing to spend a lot of time with us or whatever it may be. Um, we're experiencing some kind of illusion of separation and we can feel that longing feeling. It can really trigger that in us. And so I want to talk about that today, how to heal that because you do not have to stay feeling bad. It is completely unacceptable <laughs> for you to feel bad for a long period of time. Like as soon as you feel bad, you can heal it. You can feel better. You never have to stay in a bad feeling. You never have to, you know, stay in that upset and in that challenge, you can move through it. And so I want to talk about that. So the reason that we long for our twin flame is because we feel separate from them that seems kind of basic like of course you feel separate from them how could you long for someone that you don't feel separate from and so actually this feeling of loneliness this feeling of longing this feeling of missing them of feeling like they're not around wishing that they could be around more this desire that you have in your heart is actually meant to be fulfilled and so how do you fulfill it? How do you satisfy that longing? Because, you know, if you're like most people, you've never felt that <laughs> before. <laughs> I mean, twin flames, right? Like there's something very special about twin flames. That's why we're all here. It's like very noteworthy thing to meet and be with your twin flame. And so, you know, you want to have that experience. And the only time that you remember feeling that way was with your twin flame when they were around the first time you met, the first time you really connected, you know, the first times that your hand touched, you know, like the first time that you, you know, stayed up all night talking or that you went for a walk or that you started opening up and sharing from your heart. Like these memories, these experiences, you've only felt that way with this person. And so I want to talk about that because this is really kind of the key here in terms of healing these feelings is that we believe that it was our twin flame and being with our twin flame that gave us that experience from outside of us. But really what happened is we were with ourselves in that moment. And that is because you only experience things within yourself. Nobody can give you an experience. This is why you can have 50 people in a room at the same concert, for instance. Probably gonna be more than that at a concert, but you know what I mean? like. I'm just trying to think of like something that people can focus on all at the same time um, at an event, at a party. Okay, let, let's do a party and someone is giving an announcement or, you know, whatever it may be. So everybody's focusing on this one thing that's happening at the party. Every single person is having a different emotional experience within themselves to that event, that factual event that's taking place in front of them. They're seeing it from different angles. They're having a different perspective. They're having a different experience that is completely like different and unique from all the other people that are having that exact same experience on the outside. And that is because our true experience is always happening within us. You can be surrounded by people and feel totally alone. And you can be totally alone and feel completely loved and supported and connected with. It has nothing to do with the outside actually. It always has to do with what's happening within you. And so when you realize this, you have power. Jeff and Shalia talk about this in their book, how it's really, this realization alone has the power to really set you free. It's a very powerful thing that all of your experiences are truly happening within you that nobody can make you feel a certain way. So when you're feeling this feeling of longing and loneliness and desire, it's important to recognize that that's happening within you and that you have the power within yourself to give yourself a different experience 
because it really has nothing to do with what's happening outside of you. I don't know if you've ever experienced this. I have, where my twin flame was sitting on the couch next to me, right next to me. Most people are like, oh my God, I would kill to have my twin flame sitting next to me. I've had this experience, okay guys? I've had this experience before where he was sitting next to me and I literally checked in with myself, knowing this teaching, you know, being, you know, in this work and, and aware of, of twin flames and how twin flames work and I checking in with myself and I was like, oh my gosh, he could not feel further away from me, even though he's like right next to me, technically, take a picture, he's there, he's, he's here, but I could not feel further away. Like I've had that experience before because it's not about where your twin flame is and physical proximity to you. That doesn't create connection, that doesn't equal connection. What is meaningful, the feeling of connection that you desire is something that must be achieved within. Now, when I'm with myself and I'm connecting with myself, I feel so close to him. It doesn't even matter if he's in the room because it's all about how you feel within. So your twin flame is one with you. You share one consciousness. I talk about that a lot on this channel. And because of that, because that is the truth and that is the reality, you can decide to meet your needs emotionally loving and supporting yourself and giving yourself what you need and desire in those places where you feel lonely and feel lack and feel alone. So you can heal this and you do that with the mirror exercise, which is linked beneath this video. The mirror exercise is what I help people with in coaching sessions. It is the way to heal twin flame separation and essentially healing separation. What it really comes down to is healing your experience of separation from your own self. So when you do the mirror exercise, you're healing twin flame separation. That's why Jeff and Shalia say it's the only tool that you need to heal separation because it's literally solving the problem for you. You're literally finding a place where you feel separate and you're closing that gap within yourself. And uh, that's why it works. And that's why it attracts your twin flame every time. So you have the power to heal that feeling of loneliness, that feeling of longing. I really encourage you to not sit in that feeling to choose to heal it, to choose to work through it with the mirror exercise because there's no reason that you should ever feel stuck in a bad feeling. There's always a choice that you have to love yourself and to bring yourself to a better emotional state within yourself, which is then reflected on the outside. So you have the power. I really want you to feel that. I want you to know that because that is the truth. And this work is what empowers you in that kind of way. That's one of my favorite things about Jeff and Shalia's work is that it empowers you. I just like, I love that. I, I don't feel like it's, I feel like it's a very challenging thing to be on the twin flame path and to not be empowered with the tools to know and the awareness of what's actually happening and the tools to solve separation. So definitely claim your support. There's all kinds of resources beneath this video, including coaching with me. I'm happy to support you on your journey one-on-one. -on -one. Um, nothing like having somebody be able to hold your hand on this path and point things out that maybe you're not seeing, help you heal, help you navigate this journey and all the different things that can come up on it. Um, so again, all those resources are down beneath this video. If you found this video helpful, please do like it and subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. And I will see you in the next one.